Hey guys, Silent Thunder here, and today I'm going to give you a quick guide on Trade Skill Master Restocker. This is a, a module for TSM that is not from the original creator. This one's created by Rick Cool, and uh, so it's not part of the core TSM package. So if you have any questions, uh, you can stop by my stream. I'll try to help you. I'm still new to this module myself, or they should be directed to Rick Cool himself. And again, this one's called Trade Skill Master Restocker. Now this module is a, a very useful one that you can use to restock items that are not normally uh, restockable from your crafting operation. Uh, things like uh, raw materials that you might use for crafting, as you can see here. So if you wanted to keep a certain amount of Trillium Bar in stock for, at all times, uh, you can set this module up to do that. Uh, other items like maybe blue proc gear if you wanted to keep five of each at all times uh, this add-on will assist you to do that and uh, I'll quickly go over it here how I set mine up so the way I'm gonna set mine up is I'm gonna do uh, the blue proc tailoring so I have my blue proc tailoring items in here I'm also gonna set mine up for uh, the perfect cuts so this is the one that I'm going to be using it most for myself uh, you can see here we can do it for blue proc rings as well which would be the exact same as the blue proc tailoring and um, the, the main reason I'm going to be using this module is for the perfect cuts uh, so if I wanted to keep a set amount of each perfect cut in stock without having to go through and look up each one and see the tooltip and okay I have 13 of this and 5 of this if I want to keep 20 of each this module is going to be great for helping me do this you can also do it for not only like materials that you use um, to keep a set amount of materials in stock but also items that you might buy from a vendor like maybe you sell vendor recipes and you don't want to have to go through and see what you sold each time and you want to automatically know when you hit your restock button that you need these items so let's start out I have my groups here set up uh, for this video for the purpose of this video uh, but you can apply this to just about any group that you have so I'm gonna start by clicking on module operations let's start by doing our blue proc tailoring so I'm gonna click on module operations and now you notice once you install the restocker, it's TSM underscore trade skill master underscore restocker, we have this restocker module. And that's under module operations, restocker. I'm going to click on operations and I'm going to make a new operation. I'm going to name this one blue proc. So I'm going to apply this to anything with the blue proc. Desired quantity. So this is how many you want to keep in stock at all time. Let's say we want to keep three of each blue proc in stock at all times. So my desired quantity, three. Pretty simple. Um, so we're going to go back to our group, click on our blue proc tailoring, and we're not going to use this crafting module because that's the built-in TSM one uh, for TSM crafting. We want to go down to the restocker. We're going to override and select our blue proc restock now just to give a quick example to bring this up we type slash TSM restock and it will open this menu and I can now see that uh, okay I have seven of the blue proc belts I have three of the wind wool helms, so I'm at 100% uh, of my restock quantity. But these ones, I'm completely out of the pants, I'm completely out of the shoulders, completely out of the boots. I have one tonic, one bracers, and two gloves. So I need to restock all of these. So this would allow me to easy, easily go through and, okay, let's craft a bunch of pants. Uh, whether I'm vendoring the greens, disenchanting the green ones, or selling the green ones as well. Uh, it doesn't matter until I get those three blue procs. Alright, so I'm going to close this for a second. And now let's take a look at our... Uh, 
I'm going to skip the rings because that would be the same as the tailoring. Let's take a look at our, our blue proc or our perfect gems, perfect cuts, which is also a blue proc. But uh, so I have my items here. I have my uh, perfect cuts in the groups. And I also have some that I sell. I sell more of than others. So what I did is I made a subgroup. So I have my group with my perfect cuts in them. Let's go on this one and I click management and I made a new subgroup and I just called it popular. If I wanted to craft more of one particular gem, if I found that one gem was selling better than the others, I would need to put this in a subgroup if I wanted to restock more of it using the restock feature. Same with the TSM crafting. So I'm going to take this gem that I sell more frequently and I'm going to add it into uh, a separate subgroup. Now that it's in there, I'll be able to apply a, a different operation to it. So let's go back to module operations, restocker, and let's create a new operation. So we click on operation. Operation name is, let's do perfect, perfect times 20. So that would be a stack of perfect cuts. Desired quantity, obviously 20. And let's make a second one and we'll call this one perfect times 40. Now you don't have to use these amounts if you're setting yours up, especially if you're getting started out. This might be a, a large quantity of stock, so maybe you want to start with 5 and 10 or something like that. Uh, there's no right or wrong way there. It's whatever works for you. So I'm going to say 40 for my uh, popular ones. So now I have two more operations made here. I'm going to go back to my groups. And for my perfect cuts, since all my perfect cuts are below this subgroup, I'm going to click on perfect cuts, go to my operations, go down to my restocker, override, and I'm going to click perfect times 20. So it's going to craft now 20 of every perfect cut. I can go into any of these groups and look at my restocker and it says perfect times 20. But I made some groups that I said were my popular selling items and I want to craft more of those. No problem. I'm going to go, go into each group, go down to restocker and I'm going to override it just for the ones that are in my popular groups and I'm going to set these ones to 40. So click on popular, go down the operation list, find restocker, override perfect times 40. And I'll just do that for all of them all of uh, my popular groups and there we have it so now if I type slash TSM restock <clears throat> it's telling me that I need to craft 20 of this and 20 of this uh, some of these I should have so I have four of these I need to craft 16 the deficit is what you need to craft the stock is what you have uh, if it's a number like this, it means I have them in my bags. If it's in brackets, it means they're somewhere else. For example, I have four of these on the auction house. You can also see uh, the minimum buyout on the auction house. Now this is based off your last scan data. So if you're using um, the TSM application, which I highly recommend, it updates every, every hour and you need to reload to import that data. And also, if you're buying the items, it will tell you your average purchase price. So apparently, I've bought uh, a Blue Proc Windwell Tonic at one time for 99 gold. Or I bought a few of them, and my average buy price is 99 gold. Either way, it's showing that there. And you can click these columns at the top as well if you want to sort it. Uh, so if I have deficit of zero, that means I, need, I don't need to restock any of these. I have lots or something that's badly in need of restocking, maybe my Radiant Alexandrite. All right, so I'm gonna close this and we're gonna take a look at one more thing. Vendor recipes. Uh, if you've seen any of my Zero to Hero series, I like to go around and buy vendor items, not necessarily just recipes. And this is something that you can uh, apply to any item that you buy from a vendor. Um, so if it happens to be a raw material, 
that you guys are using uh, to sell and you're trying to put it in your group and you can't find it it's possible that it's already in a materials group items so let's say like tiger opal for example I wanted my tiger opal as let's let's just say it was something that I could buy from a vendor for example to move an item into a group that might already be in another group such as a materials group you can use the import feature so you would click on import and you would check off move already grouped items now keep in mind you cannot have one item in two different groups so if you have um, a gem in one group that you already sell from and you try to put it in a separate group to restock from it's going to remove it from the group that it sells from you can only have one item you can only have an item in one group however you can apply multiple operations to that group so just keep that in mind so I have my vendor recipes group um, let's say I wanted to import tiger opal into this group you could do that just by shift clicking linking the item in here or looking up the item ID move already grouped items is checked off and that would force that item into my vendor recipe group okay so let's say that I want to keep two of all of these recipes let's go three so let's say we want to keep three of all of these recipes in stock at all times so I need another operation for that or I already have one I guess for the blue proc so let's do two this time so it's different so I would click on module operations go back to my restocker and I would need a new operation so I click on operations I'm gonna call this vendor items in case it's not just recipes I can use this for multiple things and we'll times two just so we we know what that uh, operation is without going into it desired quantity two so now we can go back to our group click on our vendor recipes click on uh, or right here on operations go down to our restocker and we're gonna restock to that two vendor items times two now if I type slash TSM restock again comes up and let me find my recipes they're gonna be at the bottom because I bought two of each of these already and threw them in my bag so I can see here actually a couple of the recipes I only have one of it's telling me to get one more there was only one available on the vendor when I bought them it's kind of one of those limited supply things you, you go back in half an hour and they're there again type of deal so it tells me I need to pick up one more of each of these so let's say for example I had two of them I sold one on the auction house now they're gonna show up here and tell me that I have a deficit of one and I need to purchase one more and get them up there for sale and if I go down further you can see that my other recipes okay these ones haven't sold yet I still have two <clears throat> and I just noticed something here that uh, I wasn't aware of by clicking around I'm getting spammed in my chat but it looks like maybe we can go to TSM shopping and click these items and it's going to search them so if it was a raw material or something like that there's none of those on the auction house so let's see if we can find something that is on the auction house perfect bold pandaren granite there should be some of those on there alright so it's searched so let's say it was raw materials we want to restock we could come open the auction house I'm still learning how to use this module myself guys I just I know I'm gonna get asked a lot of questions when I stream this so uh, I wanted to be able to show you guys how I have it set up uh, if I learn anything new I'll keep you guys up to date as well so there so we can open our shopping tab let's say it was wind wool cloth or something and we wanted to keep a hundred wind wool cloth in stock at all times uh, and it was showing up here we would be able to come open our shopping tab TSM shopping and just click that item and easily search for it uh, obviously these are expensive for it's a uh, bill is trying to get a thousand gold and ten thousand gold for his gems so we would want to probably search it by price per item or if it was a material usually we sort by map price percent of map price and when you're restocking your materials 
to ensure that you're making a profit with Trade Skill Master, you want to be buying at 100% of your map price or less. And I think that's about it, guys. Just let me take a look here. Get our groups. We went over vendor recipes, blue procs, all set up. Uh, so that's how I'm going to be using the restock feature for now. I'm going to be mainly using it for my perfect cuts. And I may even get into it on my vendor items. And I might also set it up on my zero to hero tune. So that when I'm selling all those vendor items, whether it's shirts, uh, raw materials, or uh, dye, home of the clear minds, anything like that, I'll be able to set this up. As long as my items are in separate subgroups, if I want to stock 20 of these items and 40 of these items, they just need to be in separate groups. You can also make a separate profile, guys. If, if you don't want to play around and subgroup all of your stuff up too much, you can always go to TSM options, click on profiles, and create a new profile, and maybe you would call it restock. When you do that, one second here profiles new the profile I'm using right now is called restock so let's go restock test there we go so then when you go to your groups you have a fresh set of groups to work from and you could set up just this profile for the things that you sell on a regular basis and then when you're done doing your restocking you can go back to your profiles and back to your normal set of groups and they're there again anyway guys I hope you found this video helpful don't forget to stop by and check out my live stream sometime. I'm also going to post uh, my video guide for how I set up my perfect cuts along with import lists in the description. Anyway, thanks for checking it out. Don't forget to subscribe.